my friend. Mm-hmm. Then you spend a single moment. And you know what we see on the other side? Brian Brushwood. Fantasy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fat, fat, fat. Then do it out just to Robert Young for even a little while. You know JC oh, stands for. <laughs> what? Don't First word just. C word. I love what? you. Past tense of come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why they're all excited about the second coming of Christ. Hey, you know, it's fun. It's like I know that this is a, just an effed up show. And I remember that it is. And when you say, "Would you like to come on the show?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, it'd just be kind of fun." <sighs> but it's 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 uh it's really like it's 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 like you guys just kind of get to like go hog wild. A <laughs> uh, little little bit. It's little I bit. mean it's fun. It's really fun. <laughs> Uh, he says, I feel like I'm getting away with something. I, we continue to feel like we're getting away with yeah. something at all times. Hey, we, uh, we, we are consistently sure that we will stop getting away with something <laughs> uh, every now. Wednesday. Yes, Tuesday is the day for the show. <laughs> Wednesday is where we perpetually stare at our phones and wait for the inevitable call or email. Yeah. You know, guys, we really oh. appreciate you put so much work into it. You guys are hilarious. You but... guys are super funny and you're going to do really, really well. You know, we just, we just, we just love you. We love you guys so much. You just do, you do such a good job. But we're going to, we're going to stop doing this show. <laughs> we've, we've, we've decided quite recently that we have a new direction. It turns out that what we want to be is the CNN of tech and not, yeah. And not the Howard Stern show. Just crazy, crazy new notion that we have in our head. What we want is more discussion of the Apple earnings call. That's right. And less discussion of, of Jesus Master. <laughs> That's right. We want to separate those two elements oh. from our current we, slate we of want, We want less advocacy of wearing no undergarments and more advocacy of... Uh, stock rights of, uh, or I don't know. What are they talking about stock on TNT? Stock rights? <laughs> I'm trying to, like, like, because you guys are careful not to have an advocacy opinion on things on TNT, right? Or do you? Whoa, we're not allowed to have opinions? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, Like it's advocacy, like, 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 what's something you guys advocate on Tech News Today? I mean, okay, uh, something that I think we're all in agreement about is, you know, to use something like LastPass or 1Password. Ah, that, like nobody would say, nah, just like do the name of your first dog. And add a, add a one at the end. That'll fool yeah. them. I mean, that would, that would be something that's like universally, if there's a dissenting opinion, we'd all be like, you're lame. Yeah, that's true. Uh, how, far, how hard is it to transition over to LastPass if you got like a billion stupid passwords on a billion stupid websites? Well, it's kind of, it's sort of like two factor auth, you know, it's like, it's kind of annoying at first, uh, but no, once it's, it, yeah. I mean, I have an account on every service ever, so it's, you know, somewhat daunting, but once you get it going, then it's easy. Yeah. Right on. It's easy as free balling it. Are, uh, are, are we going to call this uh, bipartisan commando? I feel like that's uh I was early in the show, e right? Either that or 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 Spurgoing. <laughs> or, or <laughs> Spurgoing. Skeevy Gibson. I forgot about Skeevy Gibson. I like five foot arm. Five foot <laughs> arm. Yes. All right, Jammer B. I believe in Jammer B. Here we go. <clears throat> this is NSFW episode 215, recorded on January 28th, 2014. Five foot arm. I'm gonna do it over the shoulder. Lumpy middle finger. <laughs> On this episode of NSFW Show, we're joined by Sarah Lane of Tech News Today. We go over the news of the day, 
We talk about how to solve your problems. Also, Super Bowl prop bets, and I give away a game. Body wrap has never looked so good on this episode of NSFW. Also, I try heroin. It's a, good, it's a good match. <laughs> but seriously, do you have any? <laughs> are, are you holding? You got anything? I mean, it hey, must listen. be it must be fun, right? Oh, yeah, I so would imagine it's a wild it's really ride. Good. That's what I, I call it. it. The they wild make movies ride. about it all the time. Mm -hmm. And they listen, they always glorify it. They make it look awesome. Yeah. You know, like uh, that Scottish movie. I mean, those kids were having a good time. Oh, man. I Blast. like the way they would go into their imagination, swimming sure. in seas underneath toilets and stuff. Those kids. Jeez, they get so high on the heroin, one of them thinks he's Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Kenobi? <laughs> Crazy Scots. What All have right. they gotten into this time? You, you, got, you got ads for us, Justin? <laughs> God damn, do I have ads. Get out of my face. How about this one? I'm going to uh, like this. Try this one on for size. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be. Anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to ProXPN.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. And Ting! Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay only for what you use. Ting doesn't require a contract and offers unlimited devices on one shared plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting.com. And Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free two-week trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW1. <laughs> oh, my God. Who's going to throw this out here? <laughs> maybe it's something they're interested in. Maybe it's not. You know, who's, who's, who's to say? But somebody in the chat room was suggesting <clears throat> that maybe uh, we could give us a freebie to ProXPN that their new ad slogan could be uh, ProXPN now with PPTP. Oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that they uh, they got all the bases covered. Oh, I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Where's that? You're looking at a PPTP. <laughs> but just w living among the teepees, it's a separate thing? Well, well I mean, it, it's a very unique silo. <laughs> style teepee oh. the pp teepee yeah oh <clears throat> it's okay. persistent and present it doesn't it's... seem like you get much in there <laughs> and of course you choose <laughs> you choose <laughs> hey listen i mean mileage may vary <laughs> all right let's stop it's the not recording. the size of the pp teepee <laughs> but how many indians you can fit in it <clears throat> Wow. All right. So there's that. Uh, Justin, are you uh, hanging around for after show or are we wrapping it up? Uh, we can hang around for a little bit. Right on. Well, what, what do you want to do? Wait, what about you, Miss Sarah Lane? Sarah's uh, the... I have to eat my dinner. Oh, that's right. Eating is apparently important for sort of sustaining life. It's weird. I bought this salmon two days ago and you know how fish is it's like if you don't eat it and like I, I might die anyway because I was supposed to eat on Sunday, but then I mm. didn't. So, yeah, I have to do that. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. It was lovely <gasps> having so you back. You're so welcome. This is so fun. Dude, you are the best. You are sincerely the best person on planet Earth. It's amazing as always. Thank you. All right. We, we will have you back on within the next 410 hey. days. <laughs> or sure. sooner, I tell you. Yes. Wonderful. Within that time. Awesome. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Sorry. I mean, okay. all right. Bye, Sarah Lane. Bye. Bye. So Bye, everybody. Bye. Woo. <laughs> there we go. Holy cow, man. <clears throat> that was a thing. That was an amazing, uh, that was a good show. I really enjoyed it. Man. 
You said a lot of things that I think even I regret. <laughs> yeah, maybe we were quoting Padre SJ, if I remember correctly. I really do. I feel bad when people think that that's anti-religion. No, it's pro him being awesome is what it is. No, no, no. Yeah, well, I'll be like the Jesus Christ masturbating stuff. Like, I mean, I understand, like, my sensibilities as an atheist are not a religious person's sensibilities, but I really don't mean it in, in a negative way. I'm just trying to be silly and just say things that people will laugh at. So I do feel bad because I don't want to be like that. Oh, that atheist guy always making jokes about things. And, and I don't I, I don't want to be that. So I do want to say that that's a serious thing, man. I'll tell you what, <clears throat> that, that's like that thought genuinely never even occurred to me. I was like, why? Why should you be? It's it's parody. It's it's over the top. Did you miss the part that it was the priest that suggested it? And and that, you know, there there there, it, there is a there well, is a he <clears throat> didn't suggest Jesus Christ doing it. What, we whatever. suggested. Yes. Okay. But, but, but yes, we mashed up hilarious images or whatever. But 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 yeah. but Padre and I don't want to put words in Padre's mouth. But but he part of the reason he is such a dear and precious friend to us ours is that he understands that um, that that a spiritual message can uh, exist and be uh, important to someone while a, a a fantasy parody can be made uh, without without meaning. To, like you could say crap. And the reason it's funny is because it's ridiculous and it's not what you think of with those things well, and it's not what no, you believe. But, but, but I don't I don't want to I'm not blaming Padre SJ. I'm not, I'm not I don't want to link it to Padre SJ at all because it's like what comes out of our mouths is what comes out of our mouths. And at the end of the day, as as my good friend Brian Brushwood has said, it doesn't matter what the context is. You're the one who said ching chong bling bong ding dong. <laughs> that's well, that's true. <laughs> I guess so, I guess there definitely was some of that. <laughs> And uh, so I just, and it's one of those things where I, I understand, listen, I'm not here to please everybody, right? But I do, if, if we are to be, uh, explain the content of our heart. I'm to sorry, I need to know who's the creepy girl holding a fleshlight behind you? What is that? Pardon? Who's the, cre who's the creepy girl behind you holding the fleshlight? <laughs> what do you mean? All right, fine. I, I don't know. It's great. It's great. Everything's great. <clears throat> um, theater monkey got us a sense of humor. Look at the size of my penis. All right. Da -da -da -da. I'd like to think that it would be a curly cue, like a pig's tail. Yeah, but then, uh, oh, think about this. Okay, the evil genie shows up. He says, I'm going to curse you with a curly Q penis of a, of a pig, but mm -hmm. you get the hour long orgasm of a pig. Take it or no. Like, like, like your wiener's genuinely hideous and it's a, it's definitely an animal wiener from then on. Um, when it, when, when you get tumescent, does it straighten out? I think it still stays like kind of, it's like if Mr. Burns was a phallus, it would look like that. Like it's it's repugnant and spotted and, okay, and so twisted it looks, and it looks weird, but it still is functional. Sure. I mean, it's like insofar as it's functional to take like a branch off of the tree in the backyard and work yeah, with that. in, in, all day. Really? How much are you showing your wang off? Once somebody sees it, it's usually too late. Oh, so you're just saying you're saying you don't even need a partner at that point. You just work for no. You, you, you I mean, dust like, off the next hour. <laughs> you take care of business. One, let's not act like the penis is a beautiful organ to begin with. All yeah. right. All right. Like yeah. ladies are ready after like steal themselves uh, or or guys have to steal themselves. Be like, all right, I got to deal with this weird gonzo looking creature, right? Yeah. For whatever reason, they're into that. That's fine. So all they have to do is just now like adjust slightly uglier. It's not like you go from a beautiful organ to an ugly one. It's an ugly organ to an uglier organ. Okay, now okay, so let's go a step farther. Now it's like a um, uh, it's it, do you know what it is? Now when it gets to mess, in, it looks like a a strip of vanilla bean, like natural vanilla, where it's all it's all mm -hmm. black and shriveled and and thinner than a pencil and sort of and 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 so no change for right now so yeah i mean <laughs> yes exactly so you're still Fine. in let's right. keep going check no, i'm done we're already here man all right we're living in now now what about 
Okay. <laughs> Trying to think of like a really in inconvenient place to place it now. Uh, I can actually. There's nothing I could say that's not you're not going to be in really at this point. Oh no 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 no! I like, I'll I'll be out if it's not where it normally is. Like really? if it's in like if it's like on my forehead, yeah, I'm out. Oh. Oh man. Okay, what about this? It's totally normal, but it's on your forehead. <laughs> no, I'm out. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you would be so famous. So many people would want you are, it. This is your thing with all of these, okay? Is, is how because famous you, you would be. Like, freak show fame <laughs> is real fame. That, like, and like, like, having the guy with the penis on his head, and you immediately become Bono. <laughs> You're not Bono. <laughs> well, okay, what you do is you start a radio show. You develop a successful podcast, and then, uh, and then you... Um, you you all of a sudden come out. You're like, and I'm sorry, I have this condition. And then you you become an advocate for this condition, and you encourage people that they should go commando and stop take off those headbands, people. So what? Previously, I've used smoke and mirrors to like mask it. Pre well, actually, previously, what you've done is you've gotten a very cleverly shaped hat to mask your <laughs> disease. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's finally time for you to to, to unmask it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in on that. I would definitely wear the hats. <laughs> so you are in. If I get those hats, yeah, I, I in fact it in the hat equation. <laughs> and so it's so like if you want to hit on a lady, uh, you just give her a little peek. You're just like top of the morning, ma'am. Just, just oh, enough. No, no. Just she here's sees. the best thing. I'm out at a club, right? And yeah. like everyone's like, I'm famous and everyone's rolling up to me and I got my huge hat and they're like, and the, like this really sexy lady comes on up and says like, Ooh, I love your work. And then all of a sudden you hear a rustling as if a raccoon was caught in a burlap sack <laughs> and it comes from above my head in my hat. It's just you hear like, like you just a hear comical like, flailing about. And yeah, and it just starts rumbling. It's good. It's good. Um, man, Brian. Uh, I really hope people like that game, but I also don't want to play it because I, 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 I don't know. I used to play True Colors all the time, and uh, it always did end in a fight. There was really never a time where we played it and people didn't start yelling at each other. Um, man, I never played True Colors and now I feel bad about it. Uh, that's why I bought. I don't feel like it was a super popular. Oh, that's a guy with a big penis in yeah, his head. Yeah, no, that guy's all the way in. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you, you know what though? All of those confessional truth telling games, though, like, um, like I, 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 I never was in a social group where. I was in a place to, there were times that we would play them and I had nothing interesting to say. And then there were times I had interesting things to say, but socially it wasn't the right time to say it. You know, like, like in high school, it's all weird. Cause you know, it's like I had a girlfriend and what base we'd made it to or how far we had gotten into it was, you know, it's like my brother's there in the room as well. Cause he's kind of in the same social circles. So as a result, it's like, I, I never had any interest of, of getting into that place of exposure. And then, you know, and then I got married 20 minutes after graduating college. And, yeah. uh, and so, you know, it's like, what, once you're married, you know, that's sort of like the curtain falls and it's like, you know, this is a ongoing relationship that we're not going to talk about. So, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> so you start at that point, you start burning documents. Well, or just, or just not putting yourself, you know, like if that's the game to play, then it's like, there's, there's nothing but loss. Like, like I accidentally say something that outs something private between me and Bonnie. It's like, that would be, that would be a disaster. You know, it's like, so yeah. it's like, like I never, I never found myself in the position to play those games. Although it's like, it, it's such a bummer too. Cause I, I honestly think in a different alternate world, if there wasn't another party, uh, I mean, I think I, I think I would be a ridiculous open book with so much crap. It's like, I mean, cause you are now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but 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 there's there's off limits topics now. True, you know, because but, but because, you we, you want to, like oh I yeah, know, I I've seen into your soul. Yeah, no, and, I I would love you to listen tell to Kevin Smith and listen to his candor about literally every every yes, element yes, yes. of his married life. Yeah, you you desire it. You are desirous of that candor. Um, yes, but that's not my decision to make. You know, and and like, oh, yeah. like, like and, that and, level and you respect, of yes, yeah, yeah, you you respect the other half. 
right. of that decision. Right. You know? Right. But that's, uh, <laughs> want to have fun, says, still fapping. <laughs> uh, uh, Shadow Tiger points out, I did announce the first time I did it with Bonnie after we had the baby. So it's like, yeah, that that's, but th but even then, that was sort of a, you know, is it okay, sweetheart? Or, you know, that kind of thing. That's No, you had to get it cleared by the, by, by the pull up. Everything has to get cleared by the boss. And I'm comfortable with that. I mean, that's, that's look, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I, I won the relationship lottery. And along with that comes. Speaking that of that, do we have to get, have, have we run some of the tracks we recorded in Oakland? Was, no, was there, we, I seem to remember we, there is there is pre clearance yeah, material. Yeah, 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 no, not clear, and 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 it'll be a while till I'm I'm in a position to get clearance on that. So oh, keep that quiet. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. So you're like you're like the president. Like you gotta wait until you put that bill out to Congress. Like you gotta wait for everything to kind of be. Now let me on be clear, Justin. I've said I've been very clear since the beginning that it's my intention to get this track approved. I yeah. want. I'm pushing it through Congress, but having said that, I'm not an idiot, and I'm going to do it at the right time. There is a time and place for everything, Justin. Brian says that he wants to get the track approved, <laughs> but he has it. I believe he wants to. Why wouldn't you? He says he does, and yet it hasn't been approved. You got to wonder, is he telling the truth? <laughs> Which Brian do we believe? <laughs> God, I would love to do. I, maybe that'll be a thing. The next time I grow a mustache, I'll just do fake John Stossel on YouTube. Oh my God, that would be amazing. I'm John Stossel. Everything I ask ends in a question. <laughs> but what if I'm not asking a question at all? What if I'm actually making a pointed comment? How would you know? <laughs> I used to make statements all the time, and the liberals <laughs> loved it. But then I started asking questions, and all of a sudden, no more Emmys. <laughs> Maybe it's because I have a voice affectation. Maybe it's a disease. I don't know. How would you? You know, he, uh, uh, he was a severe stutterer. Was he? he? Yeah, he, and he went to like stutter camp. Basically, he went to a to a facility that that taught like a whole, a whole method to him or whatever. <laughs> what if that's how you could always tell who went to stutter camp? Is that they end all of their their sing songy? Their, uh, yeah, and it's all with questions. <laughs> that's they think they think just they're like stop making statements. They're like I I I I want to I I I want to. And then they just hit them. They're like ask a question. They're like they're like could I go to the bathroom? You're like, see, see how easy that was. Uh, but uh, uh, Amon Ra, I can't see the the beginning of the name in the the thing here. But uh, John Sazla, I thought he was doing Michael Moore. No, the way you do the Michael Moore is you say everything is a question, but then it ends in disappointment. <laughs> it's always question, disappointment, maybe. Maybe there will be jobs in Flint. Or maybe everybody rapes each other. <laughs> Somebody's calling me. I hung up on them. <laughs> maybe I hung up on them. Um, so, yeah. All right, man. Look, I think I feel I'm like we had a great show. I feel like like we just we burned too bright during the show, man. We ain't we ain't got nothing in the after show. We ain't got nothing to prove. Well, a lot of times, and and I don't think it's too much as of a, of a surprise to most people who watch the show that uh, a lot of times, you know, we're always chasing that high, and sometimes we feel like we just we just missed it. And the dragon, just a little bit out of reach, and so we do a, an after show, and we we, you know, try to try to go to a, to a place that we know will work, and. Uh, I, I'm not feeling the need this show. This is a Man, great show. Man, you want to know what, Brian? Huh. I really feel like we should work with the doc more often. I feel like that went really well. <laughs> yeah, no. It only took 217 episodes, but I think it was a good idea to start the NSFW show, doc. It's and, and you know what's funny is there was like maybe six lines. That's all we needed, literally, was six lines written down. And we're like, eh, we're good. Let's go. We're good. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, speaking of docs, actually, I do want to give another thank you to the folks who put together the NSFW show. Uh, link submissions for the pre-show videos, for the folks who, uh, and I've lost the link. If you guys can give me a link to the to the other one. Uh, they, uh, they Liam actually- Weber, how do you difference Michael Moore from John Stoss? I just did that. How could you not see it five seconds ago? Yeah. Stop selling weed in the chat room. <laughs> Who's selling weed? I just, oh my god! I, if you haven't watched our our Don't Trust Andrew main live streams, that's my favorite part. Is Brian screaming about asking for weed at the dinner table? Yes, where it's like, look, you could show up high, but don't <laughs> ask fine. where the weed is. Did you see? Uh, you, you know, they always sneak in the uh, extra oh, tidbits yeah. for us. No, the mustache is gone. You can watch my my uh, how the mustache died on my YouTube channel. It's on my web zone. <laughs> God damn, I love this community. This is the greatest thing in the world. Uh, no, chat realm's the best. We need to do more for chat realm. Yep. That's my goal. My goal for 2014, do more for chat realm. Did you see this? Taylor Swift getting attacked at the Grammys? No. Mm. Pretty brutal. I must train harder. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Let's see. That's so good. Yeah. This is a... Oh, hey, by the way, so uh, just so everybody knows, um, not only did did we make a doc for this episode... Big rare event, uh, but also I've been booking guests. Uh, two weeks, I'll be live in Portland, and the double clicks will be on, because they will be in Portland. Uh, go go on, and then three weeks, uh, Scott Johnson and Brian Ibbett make their return. Another four way uh, on the show, and then uh, hopefully uh, I was looking. I actually emailed you. Um, to get contact information to book people for a big fat Oscar preview show. Oh, uh, dude. and maybe the the newly uh, the newly emancipated uh, Corey Coleman and Martin. Oh yeah, no no no. Uh, I I didn't even uh, I I guess I saw that and 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 forgot to respond to it. I apologize for that. Uh, but you mentioned the double clicks, which made me think of their Geek a Week card, which made me think of the amazing news today. Oh, my God. That no, led- you want to know what moves the needle? Cards Against Humanity moves the needle. So, so what happened? I guess those guys gave a plug for it or what? No, they agreed to tack on a $48 uh, a forty-eight thing for, uh, and it was like 100 and they would tack on the Cards Against Humanity PAX exclusive expansions. So they were wow. all like video gamey. Um, cards Against Humanity cards or whatever. Uh, and in three hours, $22,000. It's amazing. It's amazing. 500 backers because, and I'll, let's pull back the curtain a little bit. As people who are getting cards uh, for this Geek a Week thing, we all got an email that was like, hey, by the way, guys, from Len, uh, Things are doing great, but to be honest, it's a little lagging behind. I know it's a lot to ask, and I know a lot of people have really extended themselves already, but just so you know, we're, we're, we're kind of lagging behind schedule. So if you can find it, find a creative way to tweet about it, it would be really, really great. Uh, and Max Temkin of, Geek, of, uh, of Cards Against Humanity did that one PAX expansion thing. Boom. 
$22,000 in three hours. And, what, and what's funny is the moment I saw that huge number, I didn't know what the cause was. But the first thing I did was scroll down to see if any of the over, uh, over you know, $1,000 options had been filled. And none of them had, which meant it was like a genuine groundswell. And I was just like, holy crap. And it's like something no, it about was that. all like $48 things for Cards Against Humanity. That made me incredibly happy. Incredibly happy. That's awesome. Hey, by the way, also, there are still five night attack things. And like, you know, listen, you guys pay us a ton of money already for a lot of things. And I would never ask you guys to do it. But if anybody does want it, we will do a a custom night attack track just for you. And you can keep it for yourself or put it out on the Internet if you want. Uh, and that's like, I don't know. We didn't. By the way, we didn't price this. If we did it, we would probably price it at like five dollars. To, to do a custom night attack track. Len priced it at 150. Uh, maybe if, if you guys want it at 150, get it at 150. Uh, I don't know if he'll take it down or whatever, but uh, yeah. yeah. The uh, uh, okay, a couple of things to talk about as far as uh, number one, can we, can we, if we're just hanging around goofing off anyway, can we all throw a, a big old hug over Twitter to Sarah Lane for showing up and hanging with us? Like it really felt like kind of everything was right with the universe and we were whole for a little bit and i really appreciated her coming i feel like we show. need sarah on like regular once a month on the regular yeah absolutely uh the other thing is uh let's talk about uh diamond con or south by southwest or like what what is decided what still needs to be decided where are we at with well that? let's 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 table diamond con for right now uh let's focus on south by so wasted three um we would really like to kind of just have a good bar space for which we can just have a thing. Cause I mean, uh, I would love to have the possum posse play again because I just love them. Uh, I'd love to have Allie play again because I love her. Um, you know, I'd love to have anybody else who was down there for South by. So I'll tell you, if you are or know a band that we like that is going to be at South by Southwest, then go ahead and talk to us. If you have any leads, on a bar space, then go ahead and talk to us. Um, but we, I think we need to lock it down because I really, I, I again, this is the year of the diamond, 2014. In the year of our diamond, 2014. And uh, as we call it, that, year one. Welcome to year zero. Exactly. And and I would love to have just a fun fan event. I don't know. I don't think I want to do a go game thing again, just because I kind of want to focus on just organizing a fun event and having it maybe we'll do a go game i don't know we'll we'll figure it out but um so so we, says, we, it's we not will stop by so waste if you plan it more than a week ahead of time no we're gonna do it yeah we, we, we want to get closer uh we want to get closer to sixth street if possible we'll figure it out but we will let you know hopefully in the next two weeks um because we do want to do we want to do something big i don't know me and brian have kind of some fun ideas that we would love to kind of coincide with uh with uh with with South by So Wasted and we'd love to do a live night attack. We'd love to do a live NSFW. Uh and then maybe who knows, maybe some special guests. Not RL Stein. <laughs> Although, oh, RL Stein, I want to do an RL Stein question and answer video for my next YouTube video on Monday. So if you have questions for for RL Stein, uh hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. Awesome. Uh, there was another question, but I can't remember what it was at this point. So that's a bummer. Oh, uh, I guess the other thing is, uh, the geek a week thing. The reason that, uh, uh, number one, I'm excited that the geek a week thing is, is, is happening. But now like I spent, my kids were really interested. They're like, what is that? What is that you're looking at? Show me those, show me those. And then, so I went to the geek a week website and kept hitting random and like Penny's really into trying to understand why these are funny because it's there's all these prominent geeks and then you know like some of the references she got she knew you know oh that's doctor who or you know that's that's you know uh star wars or whatever or that's a zombie and uh and then others of them she was like wait you're saying that's the guy that invented minecraft oh my god you know like there was just you know once she ex understood the context in there and I didn't even tell my kids that the reason I was poking in on this was, you know, partly because Len's a friend, but but certainly also because we're going to be immortalized in, you know, as as a card. And it's like, I'm so excited to let Penny discover that. And I, I think what I'm going to do is give her. Wait, so she doesn't know? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. I'm going to oh, give her I'm going to give her the set. Boo. 
I'm gonna give her the set. I'm gonna give her a set and say like, "Hey, you really seem to like those Geek of Week cards. Here's these." And then and then she could go through them and they're like, "Oh, look at this, so awesome." And Do then, you? So you think you can keep your powder dry up until those things get printed? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe in my fantasy right now, I can. That's awesome. If you can do it, that's awesome. You that will be an awesome like, like oh no here like because it's awesome that she is like because that's the flowering of the geek right of yeah. like I love these things. Wait, people make these things right. They are right. not just like the crack in the sky opens and amazing falls out. Uh, and so you can be like oh yes no this is what it is to be a geek and to appreciate the work of others and be like oh Minecraft oh like the double clicks oh and then. What? <laughs> what? Why, Why is Justin in this? And, and who is this? <laughs> other guy. Other guy. <laughs> Who's the pink man standing next to Justin? <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, Oh, by the way, MTI in the chat is asking if Ruinum is still available. Yes, yes, yes. Ruinum.com. And by the way, as far as I know, they're making it forever. But I, I assume that, that, you know, it has to sell for them to keep on making it. Yeah. He said, um, helpfully. <laughs> I'll tell you, I hope. I, I got to go pick up more of it because I want to do another idea for the YouTube channel is to do, like, I want to do, like, audio, like, history channel narrations of, like, the crazy events that has happened with Ruinum. Yeah. Like, I want to basically make, like, little Ruinum infomercials uh, because that way it plugs into the money flow, Brian. <laughs> you make the videos and then they go buy the Ruinum for money. <laughs> Chimera points out that uh, if you get a case, you get free shipping. There's that. I believe it was, right? Two diamond 14. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if cases get free shipping. I know it gets reduced shipping. Oh, okay. Well, What's Chimera. your YouTube channel? YouTube.com slash Justin Robert Young. Yeah. Pretty simple. So there's that. Man. Yep. All right. So we'll figure out what we're doing on South by South South by South. By the way, I, I actually just realized this that like now that episode and it just kind of hit me like the episode of Andrew on Scam School, like now is like a Batman Superman magic thing to people. You know, yeah. before it's like Brian's friend who's also this cool inventor, but you've had a million different friends that are cool inventors that have been on the show. Right. But now it's like. A and E's don't trust Andrew Maine and Scam Schools Brian Brushwood. Like I'll tell on you what, show. man, that's so rad. It's crazy to watch that snowball get bigger and bigger. I mean, like I could not be happier for Andrew Maine, and I could not be. And of course, Andrew, being Andrew, is is uh, you know very generous in his support of everyone else. Like when people are like, "Hey, I want to learn magic," you know, his go to answer because I always get copied in the at replies is check out my buddy at Schwood Show Scam School TV or whatever. And, uh, I, 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 it is, it, I have a tab in my tweet deck that is just that, that both for Andrew Maine's name and for the hashtag don't trust Maine tag, or maybe, maybe it's just the don't trust Maine tag. And it's like, it, that, that stuff is speeding up, man. It's getting faster and faster. And, uh, that's really exciting to watch. I'll tell you what, man, like, this is why it's. You're the diamond. You're the diamond. It's, big, it's all big deal. coming together. <laughs> and then there's then there's the one sourpuss in there. And I guess this is what it means to do anything in public. On a large is, enough scale? Yes. It means somebody somewhere is going to wish you did it a different way. So you just get random stuff like, your stunts suck. <laughs> like, all right, thanks, I guess. Not sure what you got out of that. I mean, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> yeah, right? That's okay. I think you're great. Um, no, it's amazing. Like last night, it's just that the booking email, because I'm helping Andrew with his booking. The booking email is just, I'm 11. My sister sucks. Prank her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Anything beans. else? I guess we're done. All right. I think we're Let's out. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh, Love you guys. <laughs> Mitsula just tweeted, "Hi Brian." Hashtag Don't trust me. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Oh, uh, hey, hang on. Uh, I, I've been wanting to share this. This should be like a regular thing. We should play whenever you do something correct. That's the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it needs to be a regular on the show, right? <laughs> so good. Uh, yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> I love the you are smart misspelled at the end. <laughs> so that's <good. laughs> that's everything that we need to know in life. Oh, my God. I'm going to tweet this real quick. <clears throat> um, uh, you are smart, for the record. It's <laughs> correct. Please... Show them how right they were by <laughs> playing this video. Oh my God, Becky! Look at her butt. Uh, listen, I just—I don't want to. Here, actually, can we go out on this? We'll just leave it as a mystery. Okay. All right. So here, play, play some music. Get ready to go out. This All is right. gonna be the last words. All right, hold on. Wait, wait. Here we go. We're we're just gonna um. Let's do, why not? Oh, uh, I caught a uh, possum posse sticker out in the wild at one of the venues we were shooting scam school on. That made me extremely happy. That's so rad. Right now I'm looking at a guy in a Buffalo t-shirt. Uh, right on. All right, all right, go ahead. What do you got for us? South by So Wasted 3, Austin, Texas. Date to be determined. Performing live. Tay Allen. What? Oh, shit, son! What? There, sorry, there. That's the music we're going out on. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs>